Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, before we get into your reading, I just want to let you guys know we have a video coming up um, that is going to speak about the royal conjunction that's going to be happening in December the 21st. So if you're interested in knowing how this is going to affect your sign, definitely stay tuned for that. All right, let's get into your reading, Gemini. How are you doing? How are you feeling? How is your mental stability? <laughs> I know that um, crazy energies, right? But anyways, we got to stay positive and optimistic. Changes are on the horizon. Let's see what's going on in your love life, Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus for the month of December 2020. All right, we have the Five of Wands here, all right? Uh, for some of you guys, you may be um, feeling like the partner is a little bit... Um, there's a bit of agitation here. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be feeling like the partner is being a little bit irritable or a bit difficult right now. Um, for others of you, this could represent um, feeling confused about making a choice. Okay, next card here is the Seven of Swords. All right, so there is definitely... Someone's not being honest here. Someone is um, irritable. Someone's acting a bit out of character. If, uh, if you feel that this is your partner, they may not be very uh, forthcoming. Or they may not be completely honest with you, Gemini. Yeah. So... What they're showing me here is the five of wands usually indicates an inner struggle or a fight, not being able to get along or not being able to be on the same wavelength. Um, but I feel that this has more to do with ego. Ego is involved in this situation. Uh, with the seven of swords, there is certain things that are not being, that they're not being completely honest about and you know it, Gemini. You have the high priestess here. The high priestess is definitely secrets that are being kept. Um, but your intuition is telling you something. Now you have the Ace of Cups here. Ace of Cups does represent um, love, you know, love, admiration. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing, you may be actually dealing not with your partner, but someone from your past may be trying to contact you, may be trying to reach out to you. Or you may be dealing with them in this month of December. Um, but I feel that what they're saying here is with the Ace of Cups. Don't put yourself in a situation you're not going to know how to get out of, Gemini. Especially for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship. You know, don't entertain something that you know can bite you in the ass. Let's see your partner's cards. Okay, we have the lover's card here. Angel de la Nut, Knight of Cups, Six of Cups. Okay. All right. So this is going to connect with you guys on many different levels. I feel that for some of you guys, you're dealing with a situation where there's a lot of there's a lot of craziness going on around your relationship um, with the seven of swords and the high priestess. I feel that there are certain things that are going to be coming out coming out in the open, um, not necessarily about the relationship itself. It could just represent things coming out in the open um, in regards to the family of the partner or your family. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, though, I feel that for some, and then we have the Six of Cups over here. So I feel that there could be a link or a connection, like a family dynamic situation that's going to be, that you're going to have to be dealing with in the month of December. Um, and again, like I said, certain truths coming out, uh, perhaps about family members, uh, people that you had a certain impression about, you had a certain perception about, I feel that. Things are just going to be kind of like Pandora's box. 
how your partner's viewing the situation. We have the lover's card here. So they're definitely aware that you're at crossroads. They're aware um, of these changes and they're trying to um, they're trying to be patient with you, Gemini. I feel that they're trying to encourage you in regards to some type of situation, um, whether it be a family dynamic, maybe family drama, uh, family drama. Um, and this could be why we have the five of wands. I feel that for some of you guys, if you are dealing with family drama or your partner is dealing with family drama, I feel that it can get a bit like nasty or people finding out truths or putting truths out there. Um, cause this is combative type of energy and it's kind of like, like, wow, I didn't see that coming, you know, kind of like when you're in the heat of the moment and you're arguing and then someone blurs something out and you're like, where did that come from? Like that type of energy. And I feel that that could be why we have the five of wands there with the seven of swords, like truths coming out about this could be, you know, this could be people that you really respected. And you're finding out certain things about them or about their past. Um, and I feel that your partner in the bottom right here, how they're viewing you, uh, they know or they're aware that you need a lot of love, that you need a lot of patience right now, because I feel that you guys are dealing with things that are outside of your control. And again, this could be family drama. This could be family dynamic issues. Um, for others of you, this could represent... Um, just drama in general um but i feel that if you are directly dealing with some type of family dynamic here um i feel that the partner is really like putting their effort trying to be there for you uh, make it easier for you or feel like you have a shoulder to lean on um because this is very loving energy down here now for those of you guys that are single I feel that there's going to be things that are going to be revealed to you in regards to a person or an individual that you were very interested in. Uh, this could have been a person that you were dealing with or this could be a person that you wanted to date. Um, I feel that there is certain things about this individual or this person that you didn't know and you're finally coming to that understanding. Um, But I think that I think that what what you're going to be hearing or finding out about this person, I think that it's going to make you be more interested in them. So it could be like kind of like the scenario of people coming to you and trying to tell you like bad stuff about the person you're interested in only to turn you off by it. But I don't see that happening. We have the Ace of Cups here. So I feel that this is actually going to either bring you guys together. If you guys are not together, it's going to draw you guys in together or it's going to make your feelings grow for this person. Now, how they're viewing the situation, the lovers, they're definitely interested in you. There's definitely passion here. The Knight of Cups, there's emotional connection. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a person that's coming back around from the past while you're dealing with a new, a new beginning or a new relationship or a new partnership. Uh, for those of you guys that have been single, I, de I definitely do see love here. I see a uh, new love coming in for you guys. But I feel that you're going to be feeling that you have to make a choice between two different people. We do have the Six of Cups underneath the Ace of Cups. So the Aces are always new beginnings. So this is new energy coming through with the Six of Cups. Uh, this is a person from the past coming back around trying to reach out perhaps you've been waiting to hear from a person um and there is definitely communication that comes through uh they're definitely wanting you back and for some it could be that they just you know they didn't contact you sooner because pride was involved here Now, the person that's coming back around or the person from the past that is trying to contact you, I feel that they are like they have genuine love for you. I feel that they want to rekindle this connection or they want to fight for your love, Gemini. But I also feel like, oh, we have a card that popped out. Okay. 
Um, but I also feel here that there is almost like, it's almost like the moment that they reach out or the moment that they contact you, you're like, why did it have to be now? Why couldn't have you reached out before? Because I feel that you're entertaining the idea of love. So this could represent that by the time they reach out to you, you're already dealing with a new person or you have been dealing with a new person, but you're starting to grow feelings for this person where when the partner from the past or the ex reaches out, you're like, if you could have only reached out to me like sooner, because I see you being more interested, more interested or emotionally involved in this new energy coming through. All right, let's see what's oh, we had two cards that popped out here. Okay. So we have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Um, a lot of healing that's happening. I feel that you're being spiritually guided, Gemini, to end cycles that are no longer working for you. And this could have to do with the person from the past if you're dealing with that type of energy. For others of you, it could be healing in regards to there could have been some type of loss, an anniversary of someone that passed on. Uh, maybe that's the reason why they're saying that there it's like a family dynamic issue where there's a lot of healing that's happening right now. Um, cause you also have here the card of community. So this is like family members, relatives being around you, uh, trying to guide you or being very supportive, um, in these, in this situation. So again, um, it can connect with everyone in many different ways. For some of you guys, it could be that, you know, your friends and your family members are, you know, trying to help you if you are still dealing with um, some type of separation or breakup. Um, it could be them, you know, trying to encourage you, trying to help you move on. And there is healing that's currently happening. So again, if there's healing that's already happening for you, Gemini, and an ex is coming back around, um, that healing process, uh, will go to waste if you jump back into this connection. So what they're telling you is embrace this healing energy and the, or close the door on cycles that are, that have been done, uh, and move on. The advice here is if you're dealing with a new person in the month of December, give that person the opportunity um, and don't completely shut them off only because this ex or this person from the past is coming back around uh, because now they feel the need to want to deal with you. Do you see what I'm saying? Be smarter than that. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight. I wish you guys the very best and happy holidays. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.